my crafty friends, welcome to the Upcycle Design Lab. If you're new here, my name's Cindy, and normally I do craft tutorials using recycled and repurposed materials, but today I guess I'm going to be doing a little bit more of a sort of a vloggy format, I guess. I've been sort of putting off making this video because I wasn't 100% sure that I was going to go forward with this whole project. But um, I've been kind of brewing on it for a couple of weeks now, and it's just stayed with me. So I'm kind of actually mushroomed into a bigger and bigger project as I was thinking about it. So today I'm just going to talk a little bit about why I'm doing this project and just to kind of forewarn you um, what's coming. So. If you've seen some of my other videos, you may be aware that I went to my first craft show in 2021, and I did a whole series on that if you're interested in more of the nuts and bolts of getting ready for a craft show and what it's like to attend your first craft show. Um, but since then, I've kind of toyed with the idea of going back. Now, I'm certainly not super experienced in attending craft shows. I did attend one locally that was much less expensive to get into, but it I also did not sell anything, which was quite discouraging. So um, while I'm going to be traveling to this craft show again, I don't necessarily recommend that because if you're, you know, if you're really a serious seller, you probably want to focus a little bit more on local shows and things like that. But because my projects are so heavily weighted with recycled materials, this Recycle Santa Fe Art Festival is just a really good fit for me. And personally, I would much rather just kind of hope to break even, have a little travel time, sell some things, have the experience again, and, um, you know, hopefully just it's fun to sell things, even if you're just sort of make at a break even point. Now, obviously that's not a good <laughs> business, um, business, what am I trying to say? Business model. But my primary focus is on my YouTube channel. And so the, the craft shows are kind of a, a side thing for me. And I'm certainly happy to share anything that I learn along the way. But as I mentioned, I'm certainly not doing that as the primary source of income for my business at all. Having said that, I um, I still kind of hesitated to pull the trigger and decide to go to this show again, even though I'd kind of been thinking about trying it again. But the thing that kind of pushed me over the edge was that they have a trash fashion show. And I went to this show several years ago with my sister just to help her out with a booth that she was selling in. And at that time we both had entries into the trash fashion show and she made a really pretty gown out of some fused plastic garbage bags. And I made a silly dress out of a, uh, what did I use? There was a garment bag that was the skirt portion and the zipper in the back was from the garment bag. And then I sewed together some used dryer sheets to make the top part of the dress. And I used a bunch of black straws cut into little pieces to do the fake beadwork on the front of the dress. So that just kind of gives you an idea of some of the things that you can see at the trash fashion show. Some people are certainly just kind of having fun with it and, you know, tying juice boxes in a skirt shape and wearing that. And other people are really very serious about it, I guess, and make some really pretty things. There was a woman there the year that I was there that made a beautiful dress out of um, New Mexico license plates, if you can believe that. So, so you can certainly get all kinds of quality and interpretations of what the trash fashion show is. But the year that I went in 2021, they didn't actually have the trash fashion show because of COVID and some of those other things. 
Well, no, totally because of COVID. Um, anyway, like I said, I've been thinking about going back, but then I just had this crazy vision pop into my head for an idea for the trash fashion show. But if you've seen any of my other videos, you know, I don't do a lot of apparel things. I do a lot of sort of home decor, gardeny kind of ideas. So this is a little out of my lane. And since I said that the YouTube is sort of my primary focus right now, and I'm trying to grow my channel, I'm a little bit nervous about doing this project because I think it's going to be several videos, a sort of a series of putting this whole thing together. Because like I said, it just mushroomed into this bigger and bigger idea the more I thought about it. And so I'm a little bit nervous to take this, you know, veer off in a very different direction than what I've been doing. Uh, like I said, I've been sitting on this idea for couple weeks and I, I still feel as excited and enthusiastic about this crazy idea. So I've decided I'm going to do it. And I guess this video is just kind of to announce the direction that um, some of my videos are going to be taking in the future. I feel fully committed to still doing some home projects. There's certainly other things around my house that need a little fixing up. And if I can find a way to repurpose something to do that, I will be happy to share those projects with you also. So, so, what, what are we doing? so if anyone is wondering why in the world I would do something like this, because I'm going to be spending many hours on this project. I know, uh, it's because I've decided to consider myself an artist. Um, if you watched my other craft show series, you know, I talked a little bit about at the craft show, there were kind of three categories of people that I, I, I kind of broke the vendors up into three categories. One of them being sort of crafts people like myself, some very serious business people that were set up to really move product and other people that were doing high end art. I mentioned the woman that was next to me had, um, these woven wall hangings that she was selling for thousands of dollars. So, um, so anyway, I, I sort of think in those terms as far as business, craft, and artist. And I've always just considered myself more of a crafts person. And um, so <laughs> I've decided to call myself an artist now so I can make an excuse for doing this ridiculously ridiculous project that I'm so excited about. It makes no sense. Anyway, um, so I have, like I said, been kind of brewing on this idea and the main part of my trash fashion dress, which I'm actually calling my <laughs> trash fashion wedding dress, the most of it I intend to make out of aluminum cans. So. Um, I'm going to give you a quick, a quick, I'm going to give you a quick peek at how, what I've gotten done so far. And, um, then just forewarn you that more videos in this series are coming and also some home projects. Uh, I'll be working on some home projects as well. So without further ado, let me just turn the camera around. This is the aluminum can, part of the aluminum can skirt that I'm making and then the top is made out of snack bags and chip bags I'm thinking that'll be made out of that and like I said there's a lot of other crazy silly ideas that I have in my head broiling around but I heard that silver is a big trend for 2023 so yay Anyway, stay tuned and see how this progresses or check back for some more home decor or garden projects. Either way, thanks for stopping by and spending a little time with me today. And I hope to see you back here soon in the lab for my next experiment.